Yeah, Kale, thanks for jumping on and sharing your fitness journey with us. Um, can you tell us a bit about you, where you're from, what you do? I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm living in Australia now. Um, for work, we have a family-owned car dealership. So that's not set hours. Most of the time, it's to work as much as you can. And I've been struggling to find time to fit in uh, training and managing my health. I'd actually put on a lot of weight over the last few years, uh, got up to 120. Started with Mitch at about 90, just to lose that extra few kilos uh, to get down to my goal weight. And that's going really well so far. That's uh, it's awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a bit more, like uh, why why you started training? What are some of the challenges you're having? Some of the problems? Mm -hmm. No worries. I mean, I started training purely for aesthetics. I had gone through a really bad breakup, and that's what led me to put on most of the most of the weight. So up to 120, I kind of looked at myself and was like, "Nah, this is you know, it's getting out of hand." So I slowly started getting into the gym and started learning a bit about nutrition and things like that. And, you know, when you're just starting, you're just lifting a dumbbell or just going for a walk or cutting out sugary drinks, that's enough to lose a good amount of weight. But I'd already exhausted all the weight loss I could do from just basic lifestyle changes. So I really had to, um, how do I say, it? make the training much more targeted and more specific to my goals. And that's where Mish has helped me so much. Okay. Oh, that's great. Okay. And, and what, are, what are some of the things you, are, you wanted to accomplish? Um, I wanted to get down to 80 kilos body weight. I wanted to sit around 12 to uh, 10 to 12 percent body fat. And I really wanted to not just change my body, but also develop a much more masculine, more powerful and more uh, a mindset that can inspire change in other people. And I wanted to uh, have, make my actions in line with that. So I wanted to inspire other people to see my weight loss journey and my transformation and then use that to uh, light that fire within within themselves and provide them the guidance that they need so that they don't have to go through all the trial and error. That's also, which is a very big discouraging part that makes a lot of people quit just so that they can avoid that and that they have a better chance of succeeding as well. Yeah, oh, it's, it's powerful. Yeah, it's, it's it's for you, but also for, for the ones you love as well. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Awesome. And uh, how, how did we meet? Can you tell us like how you first came across me and, you know, how did we, we connect and everything? The first time I, I had seen Mish was I saw a video of him performing the deadlift. And I think I asked him a question or made a correction or something about the form on that. And then from there, he followed me and I realized he was a personal trainer. So I think I followed him back after that. And then he'd keep uh, like giving me motivation and encouraging me on whenever I made fitness posts and things like that. So I always had in the back of my mind that he was a personal trainer just following my Instagram account, but I didn't think too much of it. So around uh, December, January-ish, I started looking for a personal trainer. A few of the piece, uh, people that I had inquired with just either didn't respond or it just didn't match my vibe. And then Mish uh, just DM me out of the blue asking what my goals for the year were. So I got into a bit of conversation with him. I had a call and I realized it wasn't it didn't feel just like a normal interview with a personal trainer. So me and Mish, we actually bonded and had lots of common interests around things like masculinity, discipline. And we both understood the importance of mindset over just getting in day in and day out. So I've never ever heard a personal trainer besides Mish talk about things like meditation, gratitude, journaling, journaling in general, clearing your mind, managing stress, things like that. But to me, I always believed that that was a much bigger part to living a healthy life than just getting the aesthetic body. And it was good that Mish agreed with that. And that's kind of why I got on board with him. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. You're absolutely right. And you're crushing it in that. That's, uh, that's excellent. Uh, were, were there anything anything you were skeptical, skeptical about when uh, when joining or you know prior, prior to joining? Not really. Um, prior to joining, I was skeptical about personal trainers in general, just because I've seen personal trainers in the in in my gyms, and the kind of exercises that they make people do, they seem more like just Instagram exercises that look overly complex, but in reality they're not efficient at all, and it's just a time waste. It's just a exercise that looks good for the video, so I was kind of skeptical that it was going to be that. But then after talking to Mission, realizing that he had the same kind of mindsets and beliefs and like core fundamental ideas that I did, then. I kind of just let it put it in his hands. I wasn't worried at all. So great. And uh, okay, so so we've been working together for for quite some time now. Uh, and mm -hmm. yes, yeah, uh, what 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 have been some of your breakthroughs that um that you've experienced? What what would be your biggest breakthrough? The biggest breakthrough was the mental benefits I've had from establishing solidifying an evening and a morning routine. And this has only happened recently as well. 
But um, I was talking to Mish about how even though I'm sleeping a good number of hours, I still feel tired throughout the day and that I'm procrastinating at night just because uh, with a busy schedule, it's kind of just wake up, go to work and then come home. And I don't really have much control over my time. So Mish was telling me the benefits of getting a few wins first thing in the morning so that you already have that under your belt and that how good that makes you feel uh, later on today. Uh, me and Mish didn't talk too, we didn't get too deep about it, but it's something that I went on to go and research and I started listening to uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist, and he, pretty much the th- suggestions that Mish gave me, he was backing them all up and providing much deeper information. So after implementing like solid morning routines and solid evening routines, it's got me looking forward to waking up, jumping out of bed within the first five minutes and going for a walk. And it's just fixed my sleep completely. And I feel so much more energized and motivated just to do my daily things, my work. I feel more motivated at work, more motivated to eat healthy, more motivated to go to the gym. And that's been the big eye opener for me, the big the big change in my life. That's probably been the biggest benefit out of my whole time with Mitch, actually, just developing uh, set routines. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. Congratulations. Uh, and yeah, we've, we've got workout routines and, uh, you know, those that's things. right. So it's a. Uh, it's all set for you. And uh, yeah, a- any other breakthroughs in terms of your, um, you know, your transformation um, or, or things, challenges that you had in the past? Um, the main main challenges that I had in the past was that the training was in- inconsistent. So it, even though I had a dream physique in mind, I didn't uh, train for that physique. I kind of just did what was fun, which is pretty much just deadlift three times a week. And then an arm exercise here and there, core exercise here and there, chest exercise here and there. It was all kind of all over the place and it wasn't uh, structured and disciplined. So now that with Mish, I've had a structured routine. I've been noticing my body's changing in ways that are more in line with my dream physique. So I'm noticing my shoulders getting bigger, my biceps getting bigger. I'm noticing a huge increase in the strength in my core now that I'm consistently training it uh, one or two times a week. And my flexibility as well, since I've been doing lots of mobility exercises, I've reduce my knee pain i've noticed like from the very first week that we started up until now that there's a huge difference in my core strength at the start not being able to do a single sit-up now i'm being able to get through the whole uh core workout feeling burnt out at the end but like able to complete it with a decent level of intensity so those are probably the biggest like physical things that i've i've noticed my shoulders getting bigger my core strength uh my posture has improved as well actually there's quite a few things like that that you may not have you know you may not notice your posture improving but when you look at yourself just standing compared to the way you used to stand so it used to be all shoulders slouched over and now i noticed even when i'm just in the shower by myself with no reason to hold good posture i'm still holding my chest up high and when i look down i look look at a nice flat stomach so things like that you notice after you know going through flexibility training like actively trying to fix posture and things like that so lots of lots of yeah. benefits that take a little bit to notice lots of benefits like that <laughs> Congratulations! That's awesome. Thank yes. you. Yeah, uh, you've you've done exceptionally well, and uh, yeah, Thank definitely you. The mindset. And uh, yeah, we just put the plan in, put the plan in place. You got you know accountability, support, guidance along the way, mm-hmm. and you've been crushing it, which has been awesome. Exactly. Um, exactly. What what's what's what some of the results you've uh, you've experienced? Um, some specific results, uh, or even mm-hmm. comments you got from colleagues and friends. I think yeah <laughs> let's start with comments first because that's a fun one you know yeah. my girlfriend's been telling me that you know my muscles are getting bigger she's she's noticing the changes which all which is always good to hear but it's also kind of something you take with a grain of salt coming from your girlfriend because you know that they're just going to say that as well so when i heard my co-workers coming in grab me i was like oh i feel your, your gym's really paying off stuff like that <laughs> makes me get a big smile on my face because he has no reason to tell me that right So, you know, things like that. And, you know, my squat has increased because I didn't squat before at all. My squat at the start, it was maybe the bar and uh, 40 kilos, including the bar. Now it's gone up almost double that. Uh, My deadlifts, I'd taken a big break from deadlifts. And when I came back, I was only pulling maybe 100. Now that's I can pull 160, 170, no problem. Um, You know, and also a big shift in focusing on training for time under tension you notice you get much better hypertrophy gains so the muscles actually enlarging in size you get much better hypertrophy gains from training for things like time under tension slow and controlled reps you know lift slow then you do just grabbing as heavy weight as you can and getting cranking out 12 of these if you can call them reps so you know the whole mindset of the whole thing is that mish takes your goals and then takes you gives you the plan to get to your goal. So you're not just training blindly. That's the, that's the biggest benefit. That's awesome. 
Yeah, that's, that's those are great. And uh, I, I think you sent through some photos as well, and we could see the abs. Yeah, the top layer of abs showing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. First thing in the morning, I have a six pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that awesome. We're still working on it. Still some way to go, but you know, it's it's looking promising. Much better from when we started. When we started, there was no definition. Yeah. Now we can start seeing the outline of the abs, the outline of the obliques. My shoulders are looking much more ripped. You can see the muscles moving through them when I'm flexing. Oh, so lots and lots of physical changes. <laughs> That's awesome, and you can see the change in your face as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. These, these are great. So, uh, so, so what's, what's life like now that uh, you know that you've you've had had these changes, you've broke through, and you got some great results? So, uh, how, you how know, you yeah. So the thing with me before, I'm huge on building momentum. So before I had talked to Mish, my momentum had completely depleted because I've taken so long off training. So when you build this momentum, when you start having one good day and then you change it with the second one and the third one and the fourth one and then you have a good week, then that turns into a good month. Just having that string of good days just gives you so much momentum to keep going and keep having more and more good days. So you don't even feel like taking time off it and going having a blowout calorie day and missing workouts. You don't feel like that when you have so much more momentum. So that's kind of another huge benefit here is that I've built now with the momentum starting because we started off very easy. So a good day at the start, it was still just 2,200 calories, three lift days a week, plenty of rest, even though it's not physically intense, it's building you in the habit of every week you have this, these number of things to do and this many calories to make and this many steps to take. So you start from building that habit and then you progress it. And then before you know it, you're working out five times a week, getting seven K steps a day, tracking your macros. And it doesn't feel like anything because you've built that momentum to get all the way to where you are now. <laughs> it's awesome it's a gradual progression and yeah you've been exactly nailing it all, all the way so, exactly yeah um and how's your every day you know uh you mentioned the mornings are great the you know yeah evenings down paths and you have more energy and uh yeah, yeah. Does it help with your work and uh, yes it does it does because i used to come into work around nine o'clock nine thirty, usually even 10 sometimes because for us it doesn't it's just get there as early as possible there's no really set time where you have to get there so i'd come in around 9 30 10 even though i should have been there earlier drink two three coffees last maybe until 2 3 p.m and drink another coffee by the time i get home i'm absolutely exhausted to go to the gym so that affects the workout as well even if you go for the workout if you go tired it affects it so now when i wake up within 10 minutes I've brushed my teeth and I'm outside and I'm walking and I'm getting in the cold morning air, the sunlight in my face, making sure to get sun exposure so that the photons actually fall in your eyes. And that triggers the brain to actually release cortisol to, to wake you up and keep you more alert. And then having that sunlight in the morning actually gives you a better sleep on that night because now your brain, when the sun goes down, it realizes that it's time to slow everything down and avoiding things like looking at bright lights in the evening and things like that. There's lots of ways to optimize it. But in general, with, with following the routines, I've been much more in line with how a healthy human being should function by being awake and alert first thing in the morning and tired and ready to go to sleep last thing at night. That's, that's awesome. Those are great. So it's, so it's not just a workout and not just the body, but lifestyle factors as well. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we, we also went a bit on the last uh, checkpoint. We went into, uh, you know, your vision and your goals and you already uh -huh. your vision board up. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a bit about that like how how's that uh work for you and how's that come about and how's that um really helping you yeah so the vision board i have um let me see if i can show it actually on the camera over over oh, let me get the microphone out of the way oh, yeah. that's cool yeah yeah <laughs> over there so yeah. on there i've got arnold i've got leon edwards and mma fighter habib uh, Eddie Hall, Hamza, who is one of my big inspirations, Muhammad Ali, Julius Caesar, Hercules. These are all like great leaders, not just not just that they're all in crazy physical shape, but they're all leaders and they're all teachers of their people. And someone who, give me two seconds. Why? Yes, please. Someone who their people can follow. So that's kind of what I inspire to be, to get to this physique first and then be someone who, who can teach and who other people can look up to. Yeah. Oh, and that's kind of what motivates me every time I feel bad. I look up there and I realize that, you know, I have to work because I have to get there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Even, even Arnold had pictures on the wall, you know, and yeah, I, exactly. I, I, I had the same as well, you know, it sparks. <laughs> exactly. And uh, yeah, in your, in your, in your room as well. So, you know, when you're relaxing, sometimes you get up mm -hmm. and 
look at them and you're like, oh, okay, I should go to gym. Yeah, Arnold's <laughs> watching. <laughs> Arnie's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's been awesome. Congratulations, you know, Thank for, you. for you know jumping in and you know being committed and consistent and yeah, the results are showing. And it's been Thank awesome. You. And Thank uh, you. you Thank definitely you. got it. You've got it in you. Uh, yeah. Tell it, you've got the right routines in place, the right mindset, and uh, yeah, you're definitely leading the way. You know, uh, you. leadership always starts with with self, with yourself. Yeah, uh, you know, you want to develop yourself first and be an example of um, yeah, of, of, of what you're about, and you're well That's in right. it. It's awesome, and you've got some great goals. Yeah, going in, going forward as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the getting down to the eighty kilos, sharing it with my people, helping them you know providing them the knowledge in an easy digestible way to someone who's never tried you know working out before also convince them of why they should start working out and things like that yeah oh, it's powerful yes and uh yeah that's that's where we get really the fulfillment you know yeah. we might achieve yeah. success on our own but uh you know it's really fulfilling when when we see other people you know that's take, right and make a change for the better as well and uh that's help right. them be around for longer as well and healthier so that's right that's right it's awesome all right thank you very much again for for jumping no worries Mish. Journey. no worries uh, let's keep going let's keep crushing it yeah awesome let's <laughs> go right. yes let's go come on <laughs> awesome cool awesome. thank you cheers